hello hi everyone i am mara prasad okay in this video we will discuss about uh, workflows and approval process related interview questions like uh, what they are asking interviewer uh, regarding on workflows and approval process okay okay these are uh, the questions important related to workflows and approval process already i have noted that all the interview questions you okay, know uh, like uh, this is the main interview uh, main question like interviewer now even if the interviewer is asking this question, like what is the difference between these two evaluation criteria? You know? uh, okay, what is the difference between these two evaluation criteria? Workflows, like is created and every time it's edited. This is another one, created and every time it's edited to subsequently meet criteria. Okay, like the main difference between these two evaluation criteria is. See, for example, uh, we have a workflow like this. Uh, if student payment fees, uh, fees uh, like uh, less than 5,000, we need to file workflow and we need to send some email that this is the action. Okay, if suppose this is a rule criteria, if uh, workflow will uh, record will meet this rule criteria, we need to send email that this is the action. So in this evaluation criteria, this will, uh, suppose by the time of uh, record creation, it will file, it will send email. For example, again, you are updating some record data and uh, that is also meeting uh, the, the same rule criteria. So again, it will send another email. Like this, if the rule criteria is matching as many, as many times, it will send emails to the owners. It will send email ads to the users. Okay. In this case, it will be same the same uh, rule criteria. At the time of record creation, it will say it will send one email that right? okay. Again, for example, if we are doing same changes in the change some changes in the record, but it, that one record also meeting this criteria, but email will be not sent to the users. Okay, that is the main difference between uh, this one and this one. Okay, when it will send again email means whenever this rule criteria, this is a rule criteria. Right? If first it needs to be again, we need to make this rule criteria needs to be false. False means we need to enter uh, uh, like less than 5,000, then it will do. So, for example, I will enter fees 6,000. So, this is not meeting this rule criteria, right? So, then here the criteria is become false. Again, suppose I am doing same record, I am updating, uh, I am updating like I will do changes like uh, fee amount is 4,000. So, this means again this uh, uh, record is meeting with this rule criteria. So this means whenever record is uh, like uh, whenever we will change record criteria from false to true, then only email that will be sent to the users. So then that is the meaning of subsequently actually. Okay, whenever rule criteria will be changed from false to true, then here in this case we will send emails. But in this case we are sending emails every time whenever the record is meeting with this criteria. Even if you have this record is meeting with the criteria. Then again, we are doing modification. Then that time also, it is also meeting with the review criteria, but it will not send email because when it will subsequently means alternatively, we need to change rule criteria false to true. Either we need to change student fee amount to 6000, then it is not meeting criteria. Again, we will change the term of fee amount to 4000, then again, it will meet the rule criteria. So that time it will send emails to the users. So that is the main difference between the these two evaluation criteria. Subsequently means whenever we change rule criteria, like a rule condition or rule record criteria, false to true, then it will send emails. Here, suppose it always it is true, but it will send email alerts. Even though if it is true, again you are doing some changes, again it is a uh, criteria is true, then it will not send email. So if you want to send email, this is for alternatively, if you want to send email, then we'll choose this one, created and every time it's edited to subsequently with the criteria. Okay. We are record criteria needs to be changed from false to true, then only it will send emails. Here, even if the record criteria is always 5000, it will send continuous emails to the users. That is the main difference between these two evaluation criteria and sales for, uh, workflows. Okay. And uh, for example, we'll take on one more scenario. Okay. Uh, we have created one time based workflow, like for example, opportunity. Opportunity. Okay, opportunity stays equal to closed one 
we need to send we need opportunity closed uh, like uh, see opportunity opportunity close date is not equal to null opportunity closed date is not equal to null then we need to send email to the uh, opportunity owner uh, like before one day of the close date this is our criteria okay for example uh, this time trigger we have created in the time trigger we have created one workflow email alert we need to send email before close day uh, one date okay uh, one day before of the close date of opportunity so we have created one record opportunity record is created uh, it meets this criteria so here uh, we are entered some uh, close date equal to some 2019 like this future date so we have created this record and uh, this record is now time based workflow queue because this is here uh, in this record we have entered the close date so that is the reason it is went to the time based workflow queue so for example i will change uh, close date equal to null then what will happen to this record this record will uh, like send to email email will be sent to the uh, opportunity owner or not this is uh, like this type of scenario they will ask you uh, so whenever we change the rule criteria from uh, true to false then those records will be removed from the queue okay same like this suppose already record is in queue we have uh, like suppose we are deactivating the uh, workflow what will happen to the queues records in the time based queues uh, time based records in the time based workflow queue even though if you are deactivating the uh, workflow those records will be uh, like scheduled uh, those email alerts will be sent to the users that is the main difference between like uh, changing root criteria and uh, deactivating the workflow for example you see in my r so uh, this is the required uh, already i have uh, one workflow is there payment is greater than 50000 and the email is not equal to null we have one time trigger here we need to send email to the um, some user okay uh, like the, before in the data but one day uh, before uh, of this data but we need to send email for example i will create one record students just click on new button and selecting same default record type here yeah. test workflow criteria okay and the payment is greater than 50000 so i will enter 60000 okay and these are the mandatory fields i am entering data here suppose i will select uh, like student data but this 2019 and january some date like 30 and we will enter this email also test at gmail.com so now this record is meeting with this criteria below greater than 50,000 email is not equal to null so just i'm clicking save button here so now we'll check that what will happen uh, this uh, like where we'll check this uh, time based workflows in salesforce just we need to click on time based workflow uh, uh, here then say that uh, workflow rule name so that it will display all the related uh, records to this workflow for example selecting this workflow name just click on search button so here we can see test workflow criteria this will be uh, scheduled to 129 because we have set at 130 uh, in the student record so that's the reason before one day we are sending one email okay for example now i will change this is now meeting with criteria right for example i will change below 50000 means any amount 40000 i will give i am saving record so what will happen to the this record it will uh, 
like uh, this email will be sent to the user or not because we are changing the record criteria now this record is not meeting the uh, our, our criteria right so actually we need to uh, mention payment more than 50000 but now we modified the payment for 50000 to 40000 what will happen now this, to the record just will click search button what will happen this will be there in the queue or it will be removed from the queue it will be removed from the queue actually okay so we'll see this is now uh, queue is empty because whenever we change the root criteria, records will be removed from the queue. So here we can observe, right? Uh, uh, all the records are removed from the database. Okay, for example, we'll check one more uh, criteria, like another, uh, another one. Let's suppose if we'll deactivate the workflow, what will happen to the time-based workflow queues? Okay, for example, I'll create one more record here. So I'm cloning the existing record. So I'm entering more than 50,000 means I will give 60,000 data, but same leave it as uh, fields like this only. Just click save button. <coughs> now again, we'll check like uh, that is uh, uh, record is came in time based for the queue or not. We'll just click on search button. We'll see. So this record came again. For example, what will happen if I will deactivate the workflow? Okay. So that trigger will be there or it will be removed from the queue. So we'll check once now. So even if we deactivate the record uh, workflow, this record will be there. It will be not it will be not deleted from the time based workflow workflow queue. So this is the scenario. These are the two scenarios we need to check. Uh, like interview will ask you. Like uh, what will happen if we deactivate the workflow? <coughs> if already records are having uh, some time based workflow actions okay so these are the two important questions okay for example what is the difference uh, like we'll see this one there are two workflows on the same object name workflow one and workflow two if the workflow one fires then the field will be updated on the same object if the field updated again workflow two will be fired uh, so if workflow needs to be fired it will miss the criteria so what will happen if uh, workflow in fire it will uh, both will fail or it will not fail, uh, but workflow 2 will not fail. So, this is our scenario. For example, see, this is our scenario, right? So, uh, if the first, for example, let's take uh, an example here. Okay, if student uh, fee is less than 5000, okay, we are doing action like workflow action is update field update. In the field update, we are updating medium equal to English. Okay, this is workflow one. In the workflow two, is we have like this workflow two. Like criteria is if medium equal to English. Okay, then we are updating some other field. Like uh, just take any for example, we are updating phone field with uh, any default value. Like so, for example, I am creating one student record with uh, uh, le below less than five thousand rupees. So it will update the. Uh, medium equal to English. What will happen to workflow to workflow to will fire or not fire? So we have one checkbox on the field update action like re-evaluate workflow. The checkbox we need to enable. If we enable the checkbox, workflow to will fire. Whatever the workflows is there in the same object, all the workflows will be fired if we enable the checkbox. If we are not enable, we are not enabling that the checkbox, then only workflow one will fire. Okay. So I will show you where is the checkbox and all those things. Field updates. For example, we'll open any. Okay, this is the workflow, right? For example, I'll click on edit. <coughs> if you select workflow action as new field update, okay, just select any name, give it to some test name, and selecting student uh, medium, I want to update. So here we can see uh, this. We evaluate workflow rules after field change. If we enable this checkbox, whatever the uh, workflow rules and uh, is there in that student object, all the workflows will be fired. 
if you are not enabling so only one workflow will fire that is the use of the evaluate workflow rules after field change okay this is also important questions okay we'll see one more uh, scenario what is uh, recursion workflows in salesforce what is recursion means for example see we'll take same example here in the workflow when if fee is less than uh, 5000 we are updating medium equal to english okay for example in second scenario in the second workflow if we medium equal to english we again will update fee fee uh, fees is less than uh, some amount like uh, 5000 na so i will update 4000 so it will uh, check the again it will update the phone number uh, sorry uh, this field is 4000 so again it will up, uh, again here also we are enabling the checkbox reevaluate uh, uh, our for rules if any is there this checkbox reevaluate our for rules if after a field change so like this first it will fire it will update the uh, it will fire the uh, once we'll uh, workflow with uh, workflow one is fired then it will update the medium equal to english so if medium is english so that is workflow two also fires it will update the fee equal to again four thousand so if again it will four thousand then again it will check uh, like this so like this it will uh, recursion will happen so if you want to stop uh, this is called actually recursion workflow okay for example if you want to stop uh, this recursions in the uh, workflows either we'll uh, uh, like whether we will select uh, the third evaluation criteria right uh, like uh, 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 record is created and uh, uh, like uh, edited subsequently with the criteria we need to choose that option so that time it will uh, recursion will not happen okay and otherwise uh, we'll do another thing like uh, uh, we will re disable the checkbox whatever the field update checkbox is there right reevaluate uh, workflow field rules after field change if we disable this checkbox then uh, if even already uh, any other workflow is it will not fire in this object only this work workflow will fire if this is the meeting criteria if we disable so to avoid recursion workflow either we need to disable the checkbox otherwise we need to select third option uh, like uh, created and edited every time it's edited subsequently with the criteria these two options will help us to uh, like uh, to avoid the recursions in the workflows okay this is also very important okay uh what is recursive workflow out of this like this only just now we discussed right and can we update parent record with workflow field update yes we can in the master detail relationship only it is possible if you want to update from uh, contact to account just like a student to teacher student is a uh, student is a child and the teacher is a uh, parent object we have a relationship between these two objects as a master detail relationship so then then we can update uh, from child to parent fields okay if lookup is there then we cannot update only in the in the master relationship we can update the parent records okay yes only in the master lookup relationship master detail if it is lookup then we, it is not possible okay we have time based workflow and there is action schedule to be executed can we delete the workflow no if we already have some records is there in uh, uh, there uh, like for that workflow we cannot delete the time based workflow okay that is uh, it, it will throw error because already some actions is pending like this if you want to delete uh, deact delete or deactivate this workflow deactivate the workflow so you can do like uh, we'll remove that uh, queue records and then we delete so if you want to delete uh, uh, that work time based workflow we can remove scheduled actions from the queue or we can change the make criteria so automatically those records will from uh, removing from the queue La last time we have checked right if we change the criteria all the records will be removed from the time based workflow queue or we can manually remove the those records from the queue okay these are the very important questions in workflows actually nowadays uh, these questions only asking everyone uh, interviewer is asking uh, thanks that's all from this video if you like my videos please subscribe and uh, share it to your friends so that these videos will help uh, to uh, other people to crack the interview and all those things thanks guys Thanks for watching.